okay so this is the little tykes 3 in 1 slam dunk ball uh, big ball pit right this is a basketball a bouncer and a ball pit all the three things combined right one nice thing that i like about this kind of product is that it's very very easy to compact and store so even if you have a small home you can deflate it and then store it easily and keep it without occupying too much space right having balls and ball pit is just another extra fun for your kids but just the bouncer itself is so much fun especially when uh, the other kids are around right let's say two or when you have a play date with other kids this kind of activity is like when multiple kids can play together it's really really nice and helpful um they also provided 20 soft air filled balls in this thing this age is 3 to 6 years uh, my daughter is 2 years old but she will still be able to safely play it so it's not like but you know from legal safety mobile is like from 3 to 6 years so let me open this um this does require an air pump uh to fill it because it's like really big right you don't want to continue to blow uh but with air pump you can see how big it will get and you know my daughter will be playing here and maybe when our friends come over for a play date they can play as well um so yeah let me open this show you how to set this whole thing up and then have my daughter play inside it yep so i open it now i'm going to just remove it you can see how compact this thing is you know, i i love things about this thing because when you have too lot of toys and stuff like that we talk about too much space it's just a lot of problems you have the ball right all nice thing about it is they have provided the balls so you cannot you don't you are not restricted to using balls just here right you can also use balls in other places and i also have balls from other places that i have been used right i can combine all of them and put all of them together inside this thing and i have just this much balls to play with initially right so the balls can be used in multiple places not just for this thing which is really nice right and these are really really soft balls so my daughter is 2 years old i know if I, somebody is a other girl uh, like you know uh, another two and a half year old girl if she throws the ball and i'm not bad about either of them throwing on each other because it's so soft they are very very soft air filled balls right so now let me open this thing here you can see there is a manual then you also have this uh, basket so this ball is what we will fill to play the basketball inside you can see how compact this thing is and once again right you are not really worried about getting anything getting damaged or something but it's almost like a cloth kind of material um nothing hard as well so your kids can play safely will you please stand up yeah come on. okay so here i can see i have opened this whole thing up now the next job is to start filling air in it okay they also have these two things which are used to patch the holes in case there are holes over the long time you don't need it right now Maybe you know after some time, maybe in a few years, if there is some holes or something, you can just quickly use this to patch up. Now you need to fill some water in the bottom part so that it's weighted and it does not fall down, and then you fill the air in all the remaining top part. So you want to just flip this whole thing around, right? You notice these holes here. This area we are going to fill the water, and you are supposed to fill the water first. After you fill the water, you are supposed to close it. So that's what I am going to do. Okay, so you can see I'm filling the water in with this bottle here. Uh, you can use anything. I, I just have this bottle handy, so I'm just using this one. Okay, so in there are four holes, and I have filled this whole bottle worth of water in each hole. If you put more, when you try to close it, it will leak. So I would recommend this much. This is what I work for me. Something like just one bottle enough. So four bottles worth of water. in to uh um like uh so yeah basically so four holes one bottle in each one of them right that's what you want to do this big bottle is good enough i don't exactly have the measurement for this thing uh but i would say 1 liter worth of water um um so yeah basically after you do that close it if you put too much it might be a problem also I, when you are putting the water make sure the hole is like the hole has some air in it so that there is enough space for water to go in because it's all squished in right right now you might want to push it a little bit in if you are having problem i don't have problem for three of them but one of them i need to have to like little push it a little bit below below 
But after you put like fill one bottle, so it won't take too much time because it's just one bottle worth of water. Okay. Next, next, want to make sure all of them are properly closed, and then you want to turn them around. Make sure this is properly closed, each one of these, right? So notice how I'm pressing and checking. And you press and check each one of them. Press and check each one of them. And press and check each one of them. It's very very important to press and check, right? But after you're done, that you just turn it around. Okay, now it's kind of weighted, so you would not worry about too much of it. You know, it's uh, getting hurt anyway, right? Like I mean, like the whole thing not getting turned over. Now you can see this hole here. We are going to start filling it with the air. I do have an air pump. Notice this electric balloon pump. I'm going to use this to fill. You have to need a pump here. Otherwise, it will just take too much of a time to fill this whole thing. So, yeah, you definitely need this. Okay, so if you, come, if you notice here, on this red part, there is like an air hole. So, I'm going to use this and fill the air hole. And the way this one works is, <laughs> she got scared of it. Yeah, so basically the way it works is, yeah, she's saying the basketball. You are just going to put this thing in here and you are going to fill it. And I have this nice pump where you press it to turn it on. So yeah. Okay, I filled the first layer. Now note the first layer is very very big because this first layer is the whole thing. So air is getting filled in this whole thing. So it will take some time for the whole air to be filled in the whole thing. I just wanted you to make sure that you are aware of this thing. It is like a really really big thing, right? So it requires a lot of air in the first layer. Now second layer that is the blue part. Or more like the yellow, let's fill this part here. This yellow part here first. Or the transparent yellow part. So I'm going to fill that next. So in my case, you can see all I am doing is Now I'm going to fill the air in this whole thing and it will take some time. Okay, so we filled the two of them. I wanted to just show it to you here in better lighting. So this is how it ends. You have filled this one, the transparent one and the red one. Next we are going to fill the blue one. So notice right above this basketball hoop, right below it on the outside, there is this hole to fill the blue one. So I'm going to fill the air in the blue one. Okay, so I have filled this blue part now. Um, so blue part is filled now, this thing is almost ready. Now this main basketball hoop part, right below here, over this side, right, right above the large blue hole, is this one. I'm going to fill the air in this one. This one won't require too much. Okay, now the next, so now we have filled like, we fill the water part, then we fill the red part, then we fill the yellow part, then we fill this blue part, then we fill this yellow part. Now the final, the hoop. Right, I'm going to fill this one here. You can see this is where the plug is. So we are going to fill this one. Okay, so we filled that. Now we are next going to fill this one here. This balloon, the basketball. How the ball looks like. Niti, give it to Papa. Give it to Papa. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is how the ball looks like. I filled it with the air. Fill it. Yeah. Now, now it's time for the little girl to go in. Go, 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 go in that way. 
Go inside. Yes. Now come on. Put the basketball in. Very nice. Now second kid's turn. Come on. Now we are also going to put the these balls in here. Yeah, jump, 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 jump. in the basket 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 put the ball in the basket no in the basket you do yeah yeah and now this will be like an hour of fun and when we are done just fold the thing away and that's it you are done easy um you can just open the water tap on top of a sink so all the water just drops in the sink yeah and you can see she can pull play with it and you're not worried about getting her getting hurt she's two years old but i'm not really worried about her getting hurt at all just because it's just easy to you know it's just it's just air and water so and now kids can play take turns then to play right so it are multiple kids one kid can go and put up a great fun and a lot of time and the fact that you can fold it and put compactly means when you have like a lot of space come you don't have too much space let's keep it up temporarily especially if you have like a play date coming in or if there is some you know a small bird get together or birthday party for little kids it's just nice to have so, yeah Definitely fun, easy to use, and very very safe. So we love it. Virti, can you please say bye bye? No, Virti here on the camera. Bye bye. Say thank you. Bye bye. Do you like it? Virti. Virti. Virti, do you like it? Yes. Nice.